All right, we're back. We found some fucked up shit about the doctor, but I know that's a little sidetrack project that no one cares about besides us, so I'll hold on to that. We're back. Yep, we're scarred for life. You must be tired. You should rest and take some water. I'm tired of all this bullshit. What's the situation? Hmm? Who's this? Uh... Unfortunately, somebody who's too young to take on the role of Isak's grandfather. Mm. Nevertheless, he's one of the people we're trying to find. We found a dead body. Not really. We found so, the results of dead bodies. At one point in time, the abandoned Elazar Hospital served as the academia site for extracting divine cant knowledge. Yep. Their plan must have been implemented at some point before we arrived at Aru Village. Since Divine Cant and Knowledge has been in circulation for a while now. Yeah. Yet, they fled once we were headed to the village. Almost as if they knew we were on their trail. Why is that? Because they're going to get caught. Hmm. Yeah. Why is that? We may have a mole in our midst. Uh-oh. You do have uh, an Akasha system on you, and that's probably feeding intel back to them, goddammit. One of us could be secretly revealing our whereabouts to the Academia. Oh my god, it's that giant fucking Akasha terminal on Alhatham's ear. Looks like none of you have realized wherein lies the issue. Care to share your thoughts? Sino, you're the reason why they can predict our movements. Wait, what's that? To mean. That means we gotta ditch Sino. Choose your next words very carefully. Yo, are they gonna fight again? I'll watch. It is simply a logical inference. I have my reasons. So what you're saying is, Sino's the mole. Unbeknownst to him, perhaps, maybe. Interesting. And here I thought you were the most suspicious one, I'll hate them, since you were always acting alone. Damn, bro, this is a mogus. I know. You have a point. But I realized something as we were returning from the hospital. Sino isn't like any of us. Yo, he's built different. What are you trying to say? Do you still remember who you are, General Mahamatra? Uh, not me. As a Matra, you are no doubt privy to certain kinds of information. Mm. Before you can take action against someone, you are required to have all the facts available, including the less than savory details. True. Simply put, the Academia has traditionally allowed you access to a wealth of sensitive information. Knowing their modus operandi, wouldn't you expect them to take precautions against you? If you want to raise a vicious wolf, you need to make sure that you can avoid its bite. <laughs> the Academia is monitoring me? Can we just burn the fucking Academia to the ground? It's not that simple. The Academia has eyes all over Sumeru, but they have a special protocol for dealing with you. They keep you on a leash. Every so often comes a Nyagarbaha day. On this day, the Academia enters new information into the Akasha through knowledge capsules. I remember seeing a thick notebook next to the control panel once. Its contents were all about the General Mahamatra. Oh. His activities throughout the day, preferred methods of enacting judgment, everything. You're saying that the Academia entered my information into the Akasha too? Yeah, and then that gives people who use the Akasha insight in how to avoid you. But what's the point in doing that? My actions aren't important enough to be added into the Akasha. The Akasha is capable of computation. Huh? The Akasha's algorithms are entirely capable of- Uh, algorithms! Entered. When you would depart, the route you would follow, it knew all of this. Dude, technology was a mistake. Dude, I said it. I was like, the Akasha system is why none of these people dream anymore because they're too tapped into technology. They literally predicted him. It predicted my every move. The Academia has been watching you longer than you think. So that's how it is. Sino adheres to his principles so strongly that he's actually a thorn in their side. Yep, but because he acts so strongly to his principles, they can create a bot that can predict what he'll do next, because he's uh, stuck in his ways, if you will. Don't take it to heart. This just proves how much of a trustworthy ally you are. I have an idea. If they've predicted my movements, then I might be able to guess where they went. Holy shit. He's going to predict their predictions. He's going to counterplay them. If the Academia is trying to avoid Sino, then the safest place would be... One step ahead of him. Yep, that's right. There you go. 
They'll want to proceed in the direction opposite of where I'm going. You're getting smart. Oh, okay, let's not go that far, okay? You're getting smarter, Paimon? I must go. I never thought I'd hear those words. There's also something I want to investigate. Please, wait! I want to go too! Kid, there are people getting their brains scrambled like eggs and put into these cans and sold on the market for millions of mora. No, you can't go. You want to go too? If so... You have to promise you'll stay safe. Aw, oh, come on. I want to find Grandpa. I promise I'll be careful and not cause any trouble. If this kid becomes a divine knowledge capsule, I don't know if I can keep playing this game, chat. <laughs> Why? Oh, no. Thank fucking God these, these freaking sky hooks are still here. So where do we go from here? Sino, you do remember the route you took. Yes. After leaving the village, we should head straight toward the desert. What's this? It's buried in the sand. Hmm. Looks like we'll need to roll up our sleeves and do some work. Alrighty. Paimon, get working. And Paimon thought running around everywhere was already enough work. Now isn't the time for complaining, Paimon. Get to work! Okay, okay. So, we have to dig it out? Whatever's down there, it looks like it's buried really deep. These are likely fragments of an academia-developed device, something akin to a headset. What the fuck is that? Jesus. Looks like there were more than one village keeper. They must have been escorted this way because there are device fragments scattered around here. Let's split up and search the area. <laughs> Chances are that we'll find other things nearby. Someone in chat's like, hey, yo, VR in Genshin. That's my freaking nerve gear from fucking Sword Art Online. Is this what we're Holy shit! For? It looks kind of scary. You must look like a dumbass if you wear that. You look like a freaking Power Rangers villain if you wear this shit. This is definitely a device used to extract divine knowledge. So what, they put that on their head and then it just like fucking turns their brain to mush and then just sucks it out into like a freaking jar? How did it end up buried in the sand? That can't have been part of the plan. They must have been attacked along the way. Razak didn't display any signs of starvation or dehydration, which means that they left fairly recently. We should be able to catch up. All right. One more thing. Given that the device had been entirely covered by sand. It could be a few days. I believe the attack must have happened prior to the sandstorm. Mmm, yeah. Let's keep going. They can't have gone far. Voices, over there. That sounds like an argument. Don't get any closer. They'll notice us. D is talking with the Aramites? Hmm. Ooh. Very interesting. Let's listen in. If you had informed me sooner, there'd be plenty of room for us to... You're one of us. We would never lie. Scholars. You don't know as much as I do. Need me to... <laughs> I knew it. That's our Dia. All right, Dia, you're gonna get the drop on this man, right? Right? Dia? Why would no, you- No, 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 she's- she's ten-heading right now. I'm not getting debated by her again, okay? I know she's in on it. Dia! This fucking kid! Oh my god. That's why he should have stayed home! Didn't you say you'd help me find Grandpa? Why- why are you on their side? <laughs> well, look who's here. Ain't that something? Ugh, this complicates things. Yep. You've betrayed Aru village. You're all dumb. So, this is the great General Mahamatra. <laughs> Dear, you'd be better off as my assistant than hanging around with this motley crew. Uh, Seen for yourself, I have the means and methods, and my ideals are far more admirable than theirs. I'm not the type that's easily swayed, Rahman. You of all people should know that. Wait, what's going on, Dia? Whose side are you on here? Shut it, Paimon. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is probably everyone's favorite scene in all of Genshin Impact. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Whichever side you pick, nothing could deter us from the grand mission of resurrecting the Scarlet King. Once our Lord of Old returns to this land, we will have a new beginning. Like, imagine they actually resurrect him, and then he's just like, nah, I'm good. He's like, uh, why did you do that? I didn't ask to be resurrected. And then he dies again. Face the facts, Rahman. It's not gonna happen. You should understand that more than anyone. Have all your years as a merc taught you nothing about placing hopes in a ruler? I'm a desert dweller and a proud follower of the Scarlet King. 
Whether I live by the edge of the sword or in peaceful comfort, my soul will always carry this conviction. It's not too late yet. The village keep... Mad scholars aren't going to bring the Scarlet King back to life. All right, so when you talk to Eremite, they're mad scholars. When you talk to, like, any normal, sensible person in Aru Village, it's Village Keeper. You don't understand, my dear lady. Pursuing our faith is our purpose in life. Even if the chance of success is one in a million, we must be willing to give everything we have. Even if it'll expose you to the academia? Even if they end up disbanding the Aramites? Your Aramites, which you've worked so hard for all these years? Yes. He's like, yeah, fuck you guys. <sighs> We've waited a long time for this day to come. The sun and the moon no longer shine here. All you see now is cracks in this desiccated <laughs> land. But fate has finally dealt me a hand to play against the academia. Let's keep the sun and moon out of this, okay? Let's let's just talk about what's here and now, right? On good old planet Earth, good old Tavat. With these scholars in our custody, we'll stomp the academia's forces and fight our way beyond the wall of Samuel. <sighs> Ridiculous. Think about it. The academia controls the entirety of Sumeru. Mm -hmm. Your powers are negligible in comparison. If you still don't believe me, then try asking these two men. They're also against the academia, but neither of them are as arrogant as you are. Talk to them, dear. <laughs> they look more like pawns of the academia to me. Why would I listen to anything the people of Greater Lord Ruka Devada have to say? Damn, imagine being a freaking palette swap NPC saying that these two five-star characters look like pawns. Filthy traitors. Your god abandoned all honor and betrayed the Scarlet King. Yo! We desert dwellers will never trust the likes of you. Watch your goddamn mouth right now. I'll put you in the ground. It's impossible to communicate with someone so hostile. Perhaps we should. Perhaps we should just kill this man. Do you really believe that by kidnapping the scholars, you'll be able to negotiate with the academia? These people have no value as bargaining chips, but I could be persuaded to take their place as your next hostage. Oh? These scholars were exiled from the academia. I, on the other hand, am their current scribe and will be a much greater asset to you. Oh shit. Man's using his big brain. What are you thinking? What if they decide to kill you instead? Well, that would be bad luck for me. That would be unfortunate. <laughs> However, I'd get the chance to observe the scholars, perhaps even find out the truth. <laughs> Think you can talk me over with that confident look of yours? Yes. Yes, he does. I'm not trying to persuade you. I'm using this as a means of joining forces against the academia. You are the scribe. What do you have against the academia? They like mushing up your brain. Not all desert dwellers believe in the Scarlet King, and the same applies to the academia. Why must all knowledge seekers approve of the academia's way of doing things? <laughs> you academia scum. <laughs> Every last one of you is nothing but a hypocrite, just like everyone else on the other side of that wall. I've made myself clear enough. I won't listen to another word from the Dendro Archon's people. I don't believe in anyone but myself, and then he's like, but you have a Dendro vision. I'll hate them. Do you stand by everything you just said? <laughs> I never make empty promises. You know you're making a dangerous decision, right? Mm. I do. Good. Raman, hear me out. These people are my friends. Maybe you can't take the followers of the Dendro Archon at their word, but what about me? Do you trust me? The Flame Man. We've known each other for years. Of course I do. In that case, I'm willing to vouch for their honesty with my right arm. No, that's your good arm. That's your cool arm. Come on, Raman. Don't be a coward. If you're serious about taking on the Academia, you need to steal yourself. You can't be afraid. <laughs> Let's do it right here, then. Oh, my God. Give me your right arm as proof of your resolve. She better be like, here you go. And then she just knocks him out with her right. She gives him a, cl a clean right. Don't listen to him. He's not even trying to negotiate. He just wants to make things more difficult. All right. What's actually going to happen? We came here to save lives. One arm for that many people is still a pretty good deal, if you ask me. Raman, I'm holding up my end of the deal here. You'd better not let me down. Sure. Go ahead and cut off her right arm. Oh my god, this man's already ready! No! 
This poor child, trauma! What the fuck is happening? Dia, what are you gonna do? Think of something! What if her arm's just like robotic and she doesn't have it anyway? She just debated them. Dia! Dia, run! What's gonna happen? Ah! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> the slow motion. Stop. What do you mean stop? He's in like full swing. What's wrong? My dude. You can't do it? You can't be doing that type of shit. <laughs> this man was literally like about, he's already in full swing. He's like, stop. He's like, yeah, okay. Flame Mane, you and I are both <laughs> desert folk. Cutting off your arm is no different than cutting off my own fingers. Where's the sense in cutting my own kin to pieces? You've shown me that you're serious. Go on now, take your friends and leave. Meet me in the desert at noon tomorrow. All right. Why the fuck is there a giant tornado behind us? It's not gonna show, ah. Uh. Oh yeah, it's right there, what the fuck? Bro, what the hell is happening in the de- <laughs> What the fuck is happening? We're all gonna die anyway. I was really counting on him not going through with it. Dia, that was crazy. Have you all lost your minds? Hmm, then I just have to hold my claymore with my left arm. <laughs> Please don't ever do that again. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. But sometimes when you're out on a limb, you gotta double down to seal the deal, you know? I'm sorry, Dia. I should have stayed put and listened. You should have. I should have trusted you. Let's get moving. We should head back to the village and rest up. Oh my god. Today was just a trial run. Noon tomorrow is gonna be the hard part. Okay, I've noticed that we're going to the village, leaving the village, coming back to the village, leaving the village, going back to the village, and now we're leaving the village again. This is a little annoying, not gonna lie. Hey, the gang's all here. Hog. You're all here so early. Looks like we have everyone here. Isak, are you sure you want to come with us? No, no. No, God, please, no, no. I'll watch from a safe distance. Dia. I want to be there to bring Grandpa home. Why? Okay, let's go then. Oh my God, dude, we're, we're actually out here. Holy shit. We're going desert dwelling, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Oh, bro. Oh, we're going straight to the pyramid itself. Holy shit. Oh my God, what the fuck is this? Holy shit, there's a fucking palace behind me. <laughs> All right, another statue of the seven over there. Another oasis, it looks like. More Eremite goons. Love the canyons and the valleys over here. This actually looks super cool. The Red Canyon. Hello, sirs. Oh, what is that? Oh, so this is the the new mob, I think. Hold on. Is it destroyed or is it just chilling? Oh, actually, is that never mind. There's a bunch of them. Hold on. All right, they all look kind of dead. R.I.P. to the ancient civilization. We hardly knew ye. Oh my God. Just scorpions in this region. Ah, here we go. I can fight one. I'm going in. Terminate. Break a leg. <laughs> Surrender. <laughs> there we go. The invisible hand. Defeat the primal construct without disabling its invisible state. All right. I don't even know how I did that, but okay. Yo, this place looks sick. Yo. Yo. Oh, look at this guy. This one's got his head chopped off and his arm chopped off, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, that shit looks so cool. I wouldn't be surprised if that's like one of the gods of the past or something like that. I don't know. Is there a Dendroculus? Ooh, oh, damn. Yo, <laughs> you know what's really funny about this? He's actually galaxy brain. He doesn't have his head, but because we're in the land of wisdom and that's a Dendroculus, which is a representative of the God of wisdom, that's literally his galaxy brain and I will be taking it for my own purposes. A lot of puzzles and so okay, there's a lot of puzzles and shit over here. I don't know if I uh if I'm ready to deal with that now. Well, can I grab this? Ooh. Oh shit. Yo, I swear to god if I fall through this floor I'm going to be so fucking scared. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, that's not fucking funny. I literally thought I was going to fall through right here. Jesus Christ, man. I almost had a fucking heart attack. Dude, this desert is pretty fucking vast. Holy shit. Oh my god. Uh, that got really dark really quick. Okay, I'm actually kind of scared now. The fuck is that noise? Holy fuck. 
Oh my god. It's literally like hell upside down. I'm insignificant. I'm a speck. What the fuck is this? Was there a boat doing underground? What the hell? Yo, we get to freaking ride on the desert ocean? The desert sands? Oh, well, here we are. The mausoleum of King Deshret. Knock, knock, let me in! Let me in, let me in! Bro, do I have to go? Oh my god, I have to go around it? Bro! This thing is fucking huge! Oh shit, it's morning. Huh, they got here before us. Is it because Paimon overslept by five minutes and held everyone up? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, why am I not surprised? You didn't have to admit to that. Is everything ready? Oh, okay, the scholars for the scribe. Absolutely. Although, you brought fewer people than I imagined. Big mistake, buddy. Bring him over. <laughs> Grandpa! Gramps! Why is there only one of them? Yeah, what the hell? One for one? Raman, I've always thought of you as a man of his word. What's this about? It's a one for one exchange. Sounds fair, don't you think? I don't know, man. A bunch of scholars for the scribe of the academia? That's weighted a little differently. And let me put it this way. Agreeing to any kind of deal with the Dendro Archon's people is already a huge compromise on my part. Damn. Don't you think you've... Asked enough. I will not accept any of this! Dino's like, uh, let me take care of these guys. Uh-uh, you stay right there! Uh-oh, oh, we fighting? Fighting? Oh, they fighting! Yo! He is Big Madge, let's go! Ooh! Oh, this is fucking hype! What do you think you're doing? Oh, this fucking kid, stop. Don't you see this blade here? Uh yeah, sir, Coward. you don't you Why don't look like you want to do it. Yeah, he's looking skittish. Wait a second. It's a earthquake! <laughs> oh fuck. Oh wait, Kusanali? Oh my god, is Nahida saving us? Oh my god. Uh, Paimon's dizzy. Holy shit, that was fucking hype, dude. Hey, guess what? Looks like that guy has to worship Nahida now because he, she just saved his ass. Dude, what the fuck? Dude, that was a sick fight sequence with Dia there. Is everyone okay? Good god. Uh, I'll be honest, chat. I can't help but think of the perilous trail. Ugh, this day's going just Because we're like, we're all underground and we're all together and we're stuck together and we got to figure a way out. Like, I literally think of the, yeah, it's like the Archon quest of the perilous trail. The sand dune collapsed. I saw an energy field. The village keeper protected us. Holy shit, the village protector is out here. He's like, yo, I am God. It glowed green with Tentro. Just like you said, yep. it may well have been the remains of Lesser Lord Kusanali's power inside the scholar's body. Finally believe me. The Dendro Archon. The present one. Mm-hmm. Grandpa? Grandpa? Oh no, he's getting confused again. Yeah, man's confused. Hey, look around you. Oh yeah, where's the Eremite? There used to be a temple here? It seems that when the sand dune collapsed, it exposed these underground structures. They did say that earthquakes are caused in the desert where, like, because of, I think they said because of the withering. The symbols on the gate belong to the Scarlet King's civilization. Mm. This structure must be ancient. Over time, the sandstorms completely buried it and left it in the state we see now. It could have been an underground palace in the distant past. Oh, a miracle. Praise the Scarlet King! Uh, you should be thanking the Dendro Archon, sir. What's he doing here? And his men too? Yeah, Kusanali saved them all. They must have fallen down here with us. Pretty lucky if you ask me. Uh, uh. Most of them seem in really bad shape. Except for him. He got off lightly. Mind your head. Uh. No, no, this isn't the time for conflict. 
Our exalted lord has shown us the way to his sacred palace. Uh, he's not actually gonna go in there, is he? I feel like this man's gonna die. As it happens, I want to take a look inside too. Don't you think it's curious? Mm. One minute, Lesser Lord Kusanali's power protects us from harm, and the next, mm -hmm. remnants of the Scarlet King's civilization appear. There is no such thing as a coincidence. Two major deities are vying to showcase their power to us. It would be a shame not to witness them both. The Goddess of Flowers sends her regard- remember her? Raman, what are you gonna do about your men? I'll just let them lay here. The Scarlet King will take care of his people. Right now, I'm going inside. Oh, it's a domain. Mysterious ruins that have been deep underground under layers of sand. An incomprehensible power seems to flow within. Ooh. It's full of life here. Ah, there's some trees and some greens in here. This defies comprehension. It looked completely desolate from the outside. Ooh. Yet, it flows with energy inside. This is where Kusanali came to visit whenever the Scarlet King wanted to hang out. Yeah, and there's so many plants. It's so pretty. Sir Raman. Mm, explain yourself. What, huh? Me? No, the guy behind you. <laughs> Do you see another Raman here? That's what I'm saying. I hate that shit. They're like, oh, me? Like, who, who else? Are you mocking me? What do you mean, sir? Interpret it however you want, but there's something I'd like to draw your attention to. Mm -hmm. While this structure is clearly left over from the Scarlet King civilization, the energy that flows in here is that of the Dendro Archon. Yeah, time to put some respect on her name. Whatever you say, it's not like I have a vision. Yeah, I, I can see why. There's nothing to be angry about. Think of this as an academic journey. It does seem kind of strange. Yeah. If that's true, then we might have to explore this whole area to find an explanation. Yeah, so I know that they were friends, the Dendro Archon, the Goddess of Flowers, and the Scarlet King. So to see like a semblance of both of them intertwine, right? It doesn't seem out of the ordinary. If you know that about them, like they're not enemies. They're trying, these common people are trying to pit them against each other, but they were, I think at least, I think they were all friends. Maybe Ruka Devada came here after the Scarlet King died. All right, let's see, what do we got here? Uh, what? Okay. Oh! Alright, beam me up. Or beam me down. Ooh! Oh, is this the Scarlet King? The Birdman? I approve. Right, we seem to be in, like, a freaky labyrinth. Ooh! Oh! Ah. Wait, no! Oh! Oh, what the fuck? Okay, hold on. I need... I need this chest over here. Ha-ha! Oh, what the fuck? That shit looks sick! Look at that giant falcon on the wall. I guess it's a griffin. Yeah, I just see the wings and I'm like, oh my God, it's a giant bird. All right, hold on, I gotta, I gotta take a picture of that. That shit is prime. Uh, what is this? Mysterious message. After six days infiltrating the temple, I finally understand the priest's parlor trick. The elevator will descend to the ground to get on top of it before it starts ascending again to reach the dome. Nonsense. Like forbidden ground ahead, mortals shall not pass. Or whatever are just made up by the priests to hoodwink us. I leave this method here in hopes that the people of King Deshret who shall travel here in the future shall freely enjoy the privilege of witnessing his sacred presence. Call the elevator so it goes down. Call the elevator and then get on it so I go up. Let me grab this chest first. See you later, King D. King D's nuts. All right, let's see. Aha! And now you call it back up. You jump on top. Easy clap, boys. Oh, wait, hold on. What's this? Turn off? Start up. Oh, I see. That all I have to do. Now I just got to wait for this one to rotate. Huzzah! Where am I going? <laughs> I didn't realize that there were markings on the ceiling. It looks like these uh, people are worshiping and giving up offerings. Oh, that looks like an eye. I wish there was a fucking light that I could see this shit. This is so dark. Anyways, that was uh, way too easy. Way too dank for your boy. Oh, now that's a sight to see. 
The Scarlet King's splendor surrounds us. Is there There's so much roots. vegetation here. It's different than what I expected. Oh, what the sure, hell? There are a lot of plants for a desert. <laughs> That's what I call divine providence of the Scarlet King. Uh. Oh my god. Thought we were gonna smash into the wall. It's not Ermin, so it looks like it. Oh, what the hell? What the fuck is this? Where the hell am I? Bro, this is literally some Ermensal tree bullshit going on. It's a different tree than what we saw before. It's getting brighter. Oh, it looks so beautiful. This literally looks like Makoto's tree. The music's also not helping. It's a doge. A load of flowers. And it looks like there's something among them. A load of flowers? Like the goddess of flowers, perhaps? <laughs> Looks like a tomb. Oh, these are Scarlet King runes. Is this his tomb? They left something behind. Hmm. Yes. It's an elegy written in an ancient script. What does it say? Here lies our faithful priest, Kasala. <laughs> I literally read that as Keslana. <laughs> I was at a fucking heart attack. What? His wisdom is a miracle among the people, deserving of high praise and admiration. You can read ancient Scarlet King script? Well, he's in the academia, right? He has to be galaxy brain, no? Of course. Every student needs to master at least 20 languages before they graduate. What? 20 languages! Lisa knows 20 languages? Rosalind knew 20 languages? That's literally overkill. He's not serious, right? I can barely speak English. <laughs> There's still something off about this place. Uh. The elemental energy here is too concentrated. The scent of life. Is it trying to tell us something? Is this it? Analyzing. Uh, what the fuck was that? Was that his Akasha system? There seems to be a hidden message among these skeletal remains. Or is there technology here? That sounded like a fucking AI. Excellent. There's a device from the Scarlet King's civilization in this gravesite. Mm. I'll transmit the information over and project it for everyone to see. Oh my god, are we get another cutscene? <laughs> Isn't sharing knowledge against the academia's rules? Well, didn't he say he's against the academia? Yes. However, under the circumstances, I'd prefer you to see this for yourself. Yeah, you sheep. You'll understand after watching it. Yeah. Like, uh, actually, Greater Lord Ruka Devada isn't as bad as you think she is. All right, here we go, chat. Oh, fuck. Civilization is born of knowledge. Uh-huh. See, that's so the eye I saw on the roof. Knowledge be its demise. What the fuck was that? What is the that? disaster caught us unaware. It was knowledge that did not belong to this world. <laughs> The Scarlet King brought this forbidden knowledge into our world. Oh and no! Like a People's minds were filled with crazed whispers. It's Dark music. Gray scales spread across their bodies. Even the land was stripped of its vigor. The Scarlet King Only brought Elazar. Deathly silence remained. Oh my God! Were it not for Greater Lord Ruka Devata from the forests. The damage would have been oh! irreversible. She summoned the priests to build temples. Yeah, it looks like a bigger version of Mahita! Life. The disaster was miraculously tempered, and the embers of our civilization were preserved in Aru village. Rah! Alas, the miracle could not last. As long as forbidden knowledge continued to exist, it would forever blight this world. Oh my the god. End, the proud king of the desert, my eternal lord, Whoa. chose to sacrifice himself. Whoa. I have spent my whole life since guarding one of these many temples. Holy shit. But now, my duty is coming to an end. Wait, 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 wait. As I close whoa, my whoa, whoa. eyes for whoa, the wait. time, the Why does that look like Sino? Deity in my vision once more. 
in helping the Scarlet King to eradicate forbidden knowledge. Oh my god, this is she beautiful. She exhausted her strength, and her form I became that of a small child. I called so, it! Now that I think of her, I no longer have any fear of death, for I sense that... This looks like Sino, bro! ...abide with me during my eternal sleep. Children of the desert, Cling no longer to past grievances. <laughs> Forget me! But hold tight to the memory of this act of benevolence. Bruh! What's that? <gasps> oh my god! Dude, when we first saw the statue of the seven, and they were like. Who do you think this statue is? Greater Lord Ruka Devada or Lesser Lord Kusanali? I was like, I think it's both of them. <laughs> and then when we did the Aranara quest, when we found out that when the Aranara use their magic, they lose their memory, I was like, bruh, if she created the Aranara, wouldn't it make sense that that would also happen to her? But I did not know that she also got Gwobud. So it wasn't just the fact that she might have actually lost her memory, but she also shrunk. Woba shrunk and Woba lost his memory. Holy fuck. He got knowledge that wasn't from, so did he get a version of before sun and moon? And instead of them getting nuked, their civilization imploded on itself. Celestia was like, yo, we don't even have to do anything. This place is fucked. And you saw like the blackness of like from that came from like that eye insignia. It like seeped into the desert, seeped into the underground. It corrupted all of the people. It created the Elazar, which I assume that that was abyss. That was like abyssal energy. Forbidden knowledge enters the realm of King Deshret. He shares this forbidden knowledge a thousand years ago. So this is 500 years before Conria. And he fucks everything. Elazar is born. The fucking withering probably starts flourishing. And this is the initial spark of it. Then 500 years later, the cataclysm exacerbates the problem. A thousand years ago, she originally sacrificed herself to quell the lands and fix the problem. That was a thousand years ago after King Deshret died. Then Conria happens and she seemingly does it again by her disappearance. So what I think basically it means is back in the day, she used to be an adult. She used it, she shrunk. And then she was like a young woman, like a teenager or whatever. Then at the battle of Conria, she does it again. And then she turns into a little kid. So if she does it again, what the fuck is gonna happen to her? And I assume the forbidden knowledge is the, the forbidden knowledge that we all know of like Celestia not being from this earth. Whatever knowledge it was, it was so incomprehensible that trying to comprehend it drove people crazy. And I think it does have to do with Celestia. I'm gonna watch the cutscene again, but I wanna play out the character dialogue talk because I wanna lower the audio so we can switch over. The priest's memories. Yeah, and the priest looked like a descent, maybe like an ancestor of Sinos, because it looked like a spitting image of him. No. No. Possible. Yeah, take that, man. Put some respect on her name. She saved you. Greater Lord Ruka Devata. <laughs> yep. So the former Dendro Archon and the Scarlet King were never enemies at all. Where was the goddess of flowers in all of this? I mean, no, no, no she died first. Never mind. So when that event happened, she was already dead. Uh, but this doesn't make any sense. The Dendro Archon's followers, they're clearly... The enemy! Was that the former Dendro Archon? Come on! It became so tiny in the end. Use your brain! Rub your two brain cells together! I don't want to spell it out for you. Greater Lord Ruka Devada came to the rescue of King Deshret and his people, but eradicating the forbidden knowledge took too much of her power. The two deities' followers have resented each other all this time, completely unaware that their gods stuck by each other through life and death. That's so fucking goaded, man. Holy shit. This man's like, I need to sacrifice myself to save my people, and it wasn't enough, and Ruka Devada's like, I got you, fam. You've just witnessed his priest's last words. I've never heard about any of this before. The surviving followers of the Scarlet King all gathered in Aru village. That's who, that's all you got left? Our god did not make mistakes. We refused to believe any of the rumors. The Scarlet King's death the all but total annihilation of our civilization. Mm. It 
was all Greater Lord Ruka Devata's doing. We saw her as nothing more than a traitor. Who stabbed us in the back in our moment of crisis. <laughs> Just like us humans. Fighting. Feuding. Double crossing each other to survive in the desert. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, this region is just showing how bad humans can be to each other. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> if I hadn't seen this for myself, if I hadn't witnessed his last words with my own eyes, ears, and heart, how could I ever begin to accept this? Mm. The truth is so far from what I've always known. Am I really supposed to believe that after all these years yep. all this time seeking revenge suddenly now my enemy is my savior raman that's enough give it a rest you're starting to make a fool of yourself my aramites and i what are we even fighting for yeah this man's got a collect this man just had a freaking midlife crisis hey, he's like what do i do with myself now eh, i'll live <laughs> thanks i should probably go can't just stay here forever. Oh, we can leave this place, actually? I feel deeply ashamed of everything I've done. Oh, man. You'll get everything you're asking for. I really hope Nahida does not sacrifice her powers again for whatever's gonna happen in Act 5 or Act 6, because she might actually, like, be gone for good that time. But please, uh, give me some time. After everything that's happened here today, somehow I need to explain it to the others. It's not gonna be easy. Well, I guess that's for me to deal with. Dia, uh, this is where our camp's located. Make a note of it. When would be a good time for us to go? Tomorrow. I'll convince everyone that we're all on the same side. And I'll return every last one of your <laughs> mad... <laughs> Yo! Sorry, your village keepers. We'll share our other resources with you, too. Bro, just like that, we're homies. You seem to finally understand that our true enemy is the sages. Yeah, fuck those guys. Yes. The gods never gave up on anyone. Mm. It's the people responsible for all of this that need to face the consequences of their actions. Yeah, these fucking humans. That's all they are. They're just mortal men trying to play god. We should get going, too. Let's head back, have a proper meal, and a nice... Long sleep. We'll need all our energy tomorrow. Let's watch that YouTube video before we wrap up. Story teaser: Lost Legacies in the Sand. Damn Hoyoverse really out here revealing their whole trailer. Civilization is born of knowledge, but so too can knowledge be its demise. Yeah, see, so like the black pools of Morana or the Abyss flooded into the nation. A disaster caught us unaware. It was knowledge that did not belong to this world. So, knowledge that did not belong to this world, implying another world, implying potentially Celestia, wherever they came from, the first who came, the second who came, wherever they came from. Aliens, essentially. King Deshret brought this forbidden knowledge into our world. Curiosity killed the cat and the entire civilization with it. And it quickly spread like a plague. Oh, by the way, shout the fuck out to this music. I loved this music. This shit was incredible. People's minds were filled with crazed whispers. Dark gray scales spread across their bodies. Elazar was born. Elazar is born from the abyss. Even the land was stripped of its vigor. Only a desperate, deathly silence remained. That could be like the withering too. Like the withering pretty much saps the environment. Were it not for greater Lord Ruka Devata from the forest, <laughs> the damage would have been irreversible. Yo, look at her, bro. Holy shit. So this is her in her prime. This is her initially before anything happened in the desert, the forest. She summoned the priests to build temples mm. and infused into them the divine power of life. So she put her powers within the desert infrastructure to keep it together. That's why this 
temple that we were just in had like trees and life within it because the place was already going to shit god she looks so beautiful holy fuck i wouldn't be surprised if lumine met her which i'm jealous bro i'm fucking i'm so jealous of our sister man she's probably met the original archon so that was the original dendro archon which technically nahida is still the original but she's different reborn the disaster was miraculously tempered and the embers of our civilization were preserved in aru village Alas, the miracle could not last. Just like how the Marana will always exist as long as the concept of death exists in the memories of people, the forest, all that, this will seemingly always exist and will always, like, come back. It's an eternal plague. As long as forbidden knowledge continued to exist, it would forever blight this world. Forbidden knowledge still exists, by the way. In the end, the proud king of the desert my eternal lord chose to sacrifice himself i have spent my whole life since guarding one of these many temples but now my duty is coming to an end so he's about to die as i close my eyes for the final time the sight of that noble deity will appear in my vision once more in helping King Deshret to eradicate forbidden knowledge, she exhausted her strength, and her form became that of a small child. So she went from adult to young woman. Notice how that is not Nahida. That's like a young woman version of Ruka Devada. I know he said a small child, but like that doesn't look like a small child. Maybe the depiction's all messed up or whatever, but like this man's old. So to him, she is a small child. But the interpretation here is that in her doing this during King Deshret's sacrifice, she became this version. And then when the Battle of Conria happened, she sacrificed her powers again. And that's what made her become the tiny like baby Nahida that we know now. Or in the last 500 years, she grew up and then Conria happened and she lost all that growth again. That's another thing that could happen too. She grew up in that last 500 years and then she did it again and it reverted her back to the way she looks now. How strange. Now that I think I no longer have any fear of death, for I sense that the spirit of life will abide with me during my eternal sleep. Children of the desert, Cling <laughs> no longer to past grievances, but hold tight to the memory of this act of benevolence. You guys can start worshiping her as soon as possible. I'd appreciate it because y'all have been slandering this woman for too damn long and I've had enough. Raman, we're here. Everything's been arranged. Someone will bring the village keepers back to Aru village shortly. I guess all I can say now is thanks for agreeing to help. Ah, don't mention it. I think we can both agree you went to hell and back for it. <laughs> but we share a common cause now. From here on out, we're allies. Bro, Act 5 is gonna be huge. I really hope they have an Act 5 and Act 6. I, like, desperately hope they have an Act 5 and 6. Where are the perpetrators? I'll bring you to them. Follow me. Alright, let's see what this is all about. So these are the people who kidnapped the village keepers. Damn, nice mustache. Oh no, it's the scribe! There's no need to yell. No one can help you now. You're worried about the scribe, bro. The Mahamacha is right next to him. That's what you should really be worried about. <laughs> We've been all over the desert trying to find you. That's right. Uh, yeah, now you can start begging for your life. There you go. General Mahamatra? No, no. Make it quick, please. Swift and painless. You should have known that I would be coming for you. Wait, we were just following orders. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. There's no way we could have done all this by ourselves. Maybe it was Dotori that told them to do it. He's kind of pulling the strings in Sumeru. No, not Sino. He's gonna tear us limb from limb. I could do worse. What? You could do worse than that? Start talking. Otherwise, I'll have to resort to other methods the only thing i can see worse than that is he like eats them alive or something so your superiors have kept you quite busy recently why what are they trying to accomplish uh they um wanted to extract canned knowledge don't play dumb 
You know what I'm really asking. Start talking, buddy. They extract divine canned knowledge. Then what? What, are they funneling it into their god or something? I... I, I don't really don't know how to explain it. Well, you better start talking or you'll be sorry! <laughs> the sages are trying to create a new god, aren't they? <sighs> I kept that to myself this whole time. <laughs> uh-huh. That sure didn't sound like a fancy metaphor or anything. Yeah. You're serious, aren't Scar you? And he does the Fandango. How did you know? There's no use hiding it now. Yes, you're right. The Academia is working on an important and potentially world-changing project. Mm. They are creating a new god. A god that will belong to them and to the people of Sumeru. Is that why they want a hive mind? So that way anybody can control it? It may seem as if Sumeru's academics are thriving, but ever since the death of Greater Lord Ruka Devata, scholarly breakthroughs have been few and far between. The withering of Ermin's soul has been getting worse recently. Yeah. The sages have tried everything they could think of, but nothing's worked. I'm always hearing them say things like, if only Greater Lord Ruka Devata was still with us. She is, you fucking idiots. And then, someone from the Fatui showed up. They yep. called him the Doctor. He brought a, a, a Gnosis and said he wanted to borrow the Academia's research facilities. Wait, he brought a Gnosis? Like Venti or Zhang Li's Gnosis? Or does he have access to Kusanali's Gnosis already? Or A's Gnosis, if he got it from Scaramouche? The Doctor was previously expelled from the Academia. At first, the sages looked down at him in disdain. Mm. But when he said those words, everyone's expression changed. He asked them, do you wish to create a god? This is what the arrogant ignorance at the extreme end of academia looks like. There it is, ignorance. First, arrogance. the academia spent a long time constructing a divine vessel, which was based on an exquisite humanoid puppet. Yep, Skarmouche. After that, they harvested dreams via the Sebzerus Festival Samsara, yep. maximizing the Akasha's output. With the doctor's help and the Akasha now functioning at maximum efficiency, they were able to use it to extract the power from the Gnosis and convert it into a divine core. I love how Celestia is just letting this shit happen. That's their power. Next, they decided that their new god needed to possess divine wisdom. Uh... For that to happen, they needed a huge quantity of divine canned knowledge. I don't know, it's just like they're just throwing everything into like a witch's cauldron and just mixing it all up and like, all right, we got a god, let's go. But how do you determine whether the knowledge extracted is of divine origin? Uh, people gotta go crazy. Call it an educated guess? The academia has been trying to figure out the exact source of the scholar's madness for centuries, but yep. to no avail. That lore that we just found out, knowledge from beyond, causes people to go crazy. That's the kind of divine wisdom you want. Nobody can explain the cause of this phenomenon. Uh, surely you can see what that implies, Scribe Al-Haytham. If it's knowledge no mortal can comprehend, then it must be something only gods are able to decipher. There it is. In other words, wow. it's the source of the god of wisdom's omniscience and omnipotence. Holy fuck, this is so good. God damn, this all came together really well. But the sage's end product won't be greater Lord Ruka Devada. It will be the Balladeer. You must have noticed by now. The Academia doesn't care about who their god is. It's the ability to exercise control over knowledge and wisdom that matters. Yeah. It is as if they are cursed with a desire for omniscience and omnipotence that burns in their blood. They're flying a little too close to the sun there. Some organisms demonstrate phototaxis and thus orient their entire lives in respect to sources of light. For the sages... Their only source of hope is the existence of a deity who embodies the acme of wisdom. This is but a form of phototaxis. For many scholars, the absence of a god of wisdom means stumbling in the darkness for the duration of their lives. Then what does Lesser Lord Kusanali mean to you? Is she not a true god present in this world? Yep. If you already have a new god, why try to create another one? That is facts, dude. Talk to him. From the beginning, the Academia has never treated her as a god. I wish she was like, hey, by the way, I'm the god you used to worship. When the Academia first discovered Lesser Lord Kusanali, the newborn god of wisdom, newborn. the sages hoped that she would be as wise as Greater Lord Ruka Devada. But upon evaluation, <sighs> I found that at the time, she possessed no more intelligence than any ordinary human child. The sages never had a ruder awakening. This forced them to accept that Greater Lord Ruka Devada had indeed passed away. Bro, they did not deserve her sacrifice. Not to mention that Lesser Lord Kusanali's Gnosis 
had been used to power the Akasha this entire time. Yeah. By herself, she has neither an Archon's raw power, nor the spectacular insight expected of a god of wisdom. Are they implying that the Gnosis is what gives Archons their raw power? Slowly but surely, people began to forget about her existence. So... This is the path the sages have chosen. Even now, they still refuse to acknowledge Lesser Lord Kusanali. I never imagined a god could be subjected to such cruelty. All right, let's try to keep our cool. If everyone's in a bad mood, then let's change up our scenery. Raman, give me a few men to help us escort the village keepers back to the village. And these two scholars, they're coming too. Sure, as you wish. Holy cannoli. Go back to the vill- Yo, village chief, do we have a story for you, my guy? The village keepers you found have all been returned to their homes. And each one has a dedicated caregiver to look after them. Yo! The two new scholars are being kept under close supervision, too. Really great work, everyone. Yo, village keepers getting a better quality of life. You love to see it. Yeah, this is crazy. So they were literally trying to find people who have gone mad to harvest their divine knowledge, which would seemingly be forbidden knowledge, to power the divine wisdom of their god that they're trying to create. It's hard to not feel weighted down by what we just learned. Despite everything Lesser Lord Kusanali has done for her people, the academia has abandoned her in the sanctuary of Suristana like a lost cause. Even those she's protected have never realized that such a small and childlike god in this world. Hey! Say something! Stop spacing out! Say something? Wait, what, what, what do you think, I get paid? You think they're paying me to speak in this game? Come on, is there nothing left to talk about? In that case, let's all get some water and try to think about something else. Or I can go fetch some snacks. Paimon wants this. Oh, Paimon's so coming with you. Yeah, I saw that coming. Do you have any plans, Traveler? I was trying to think of something clever, but I got nothing. Gods above, you're not talking about work, are you? Uh, I want to share everything I know with all of you. Hmm. So you were still withholding some information? Yes, I'm sorry, I have my reasons, but now we are all in this to- We're all in this together. Dia's expression is relaxed as if her mood hasn't been affected by the heavy conversation at all. Sino has a firm and solemn expression on his face. The core of his beliefs, his motivations, pursuit of his actions, everything. I'll hate them. Also turned towards the crowd he wants to listen to. Yo, we're all just freaking homies, bro. The whole story comes out. Now we gotta fight a god. Even though we lived through all of this firsthand, it still feels super surreal to hear you talk about it again. That's everything we've experienced so far in Sumeru. What a whirlwind of a story. I felt like I was holding my breath the whole time. Yeah. It seems like there will be more issues to face in the days ahead than I had anticipated. I'm glad that no one here is Sasuke. I'm happy about that now. Still, now's a good time to make our next move. Now that Raman's joined us, we'll be an even stronger team. It's time to make a plan. Indeed. These events are a flagrant transgression of the rules in every sense. Mm -hmm. We cannot allow it to continue. So, everyone, are we on the same page? Crush the sages and rescue our god. That is our ultimate goal. Hell yeah, dude. I really hope nothing bad happens. Everyone's working together. It seems too good to be true, and I feel like it is. So, no matter what lies ahead, I will do my utmost. Well... Let's brainstorm a little more about what other resources we can draw on. The next time we gather here, we must have a solid plan. Yep, it'll work out for sure. Famous last words, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. I'm actually kind of like nervous about this. King Deshred and the three magi. Holy. Oh, I got a constellation for Aether. Hold on, hold on. I need to talk to everyone before I leave here. You must let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Though I cannot leave Avra Village. I can't help but feel stirred when I see the looks in your eyes. Hmm. I've never felt as roused as this when fighting alone in the past. Yo, she feels some type of way, chat. I suppose this must be the power of camaraderie. Sheesh, yo, be careful, Dia. Candace is out here. Don't rush. This is a big undertaking, and the planning and preparation for what lies ahead will no doubt take some time. Take it slowly. We need to make sure the plan is as effective as possible. <sighs> He's starting to read his book again. Hey, are you even listening? <laughs> what did you say? Would you like me to lend you something to read? <laughs> no way. Your books aren't quite to Paimon's tastes. I was joking. Uh, 
I know my books are far too difficult for you, and I have no intention of lending them out. <laughs> Got him! Ugh, you're so annoying! Uh, that's so funny. That's how you do it. That's how you get Paimon. The past few days have been some of the most challenging work I've ever taken on, and none of it'll earn me a single Mora. Damn. <laughs> I can't believe it. Imagine doing something not for money? Look on the bright side, Dia. Maybe we'll get a huge reward after this is all over. Hmm, you've got a point. Hmm. Hey, what would you do if you woke up tomorrow with more money than you could ever spend? Uh... Uh... Paimon would buy <laughs> boatloads of tasty snacks. That's it? And maybe some tasty drinks as well? <laughs> How adorable. Reminds me of the Spongebob moment where Spongebob's like, Patrick, quick, without thinking. You could have anything in the world right now, what would it be? And he's like, more time for thinking. <laughs> Well, and I'm like, that's I'm actually the perfect fantasies. answer. If there's a chance they can come true, I'll give it my best shot. Literally the perfect answer. And here's hoping that everything we do from now on will change this world for the better. All right, Sina, what are you thinking? In the past, I never imagined that even the gods could suffer from hardship. Death especially weighs them down. If we can find a way to change all of this, will this nation become a better place? I think so. Damn, man. What a great fucking Archon quest. Like, what the fuck? You have no business being that good. That's how good it was. I'm like literally at a loss for where I'm like, holy shit, that was actually an Archon quest. God damn. Round of applause, man. Round of applause. All I'm saying is they have set the expectation for this Archon quest finale dangerously high for me. God, man, that was incredible. We learned about King Deshret. We learned about Greater Lord Ruka Devada's true identity as Nahida. We found out what exactly they're doing with the god that they're trying to create in the Balladeer. We learned about Elazar. We learned about like Dotore potentially curing Elazar in one of his patients. And that potentially being like one of his end goals as well, or potentially one of his end goals, or rather to weaponize it at the very least. We learned about the origins of Elazar through the forbidden knowledge. The forbidden knowledge itself could also be partially a reflection of the forbidden knowledge of like before sun and moon and Phanis and the first who came, the second who came, that entire storyline that could be a version of that divine knowledge or that forbidden knowledge, I should say. I am baffled how good that was. That was incredibly entertaining. A lot of exposition, but when it counted, it made up for it and it was a really good payoff at the end of the day. Yeah, I absolutely love it. I love the Archon Quest. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I hope you guys enjoyed my reactions. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the theory crafting and putting everything together for this. Absolutely incredible. Between now and version 3.2, I hope to get through 100%ing the desert. I know there's a few world quests that I have to do, which are focused on 100%ing the region. Some are pretty good. I think there's one Eremite world quest that a lot of people want me to do on stream. So hopefully before the next Archon, conquest comes out i will have the desert 100 percented i will be doing a couple of streams between reading character lore and going through all of the world quests i also need to talk to every npc in sumeru a lot of lore oriented content is still going to be coming out i hope you guys look forward to it thank you guys all so much for watching and my next stream will be in a couple of days